Hi and welcome to another edition of the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. Trigger airbrushes are a really useful type of airbrush, especially for applying large coats of paint in wide patterns. You won't be able to do fine detail work with the precision and ease of a conventional top trigger double action airbrush. But on the other hand, uniform base coats can be applied effortlessly without causing fatigue or RSI in your fingers. In fact, you can spray in a more laid back and casual style. The only downside in our experience is that they're harder to disassemble and clean, especially in between coats or on the fly. We've run a Iwata for Neo TRN1 for a few years, an Iwata Revolution HP TR2 that's featured in a past episode, and we've got our hands on a HP TH, which we'll be reviewing soon. The TRN1 comes with a handle, whilst the TR2 is bundled with a moisture filter, which you can use as a sort of handle. Our latest one, the TH, is supplied bare. We love the TR2, but its ergonomics left room for improvement. Whilst the TH will almost certainly need a way to improve its handling, given the fact there's no pistol grip at all. Luckily we upgraded the TR2 with a simple Iwata accessory and we'll almost certainly be using it on our latest and future trigger brushes too. So let's take a look. We're really pleased with the airbrush and it works really well. It's especially good for spraying primers like we see here over large subjects where you need plenty of coverage. As it ships it comes with this which is an air moisture trap. It collects moisture in that little area there and you can bleed it by pressing that. If you've got big hands, we found that it doesn't quite work ergonomically. In other words, you don't have much to hold on to when you're pulling the trigger. So we were looking for ways to improve our experience with the HP TR2 and we came up with this. This is the Iwata Custom Grip Handle and it fits various airbrushes including the Custom TH, the Custom TR, the Revolution TR1 and the TR2 which is what we've got here. It's a very simple accessory and the reference number is K200. It shows on the back how it's fitted and in this brief video we'll show it fitted and then show it in use and let you know what we thought about the ergonomic improvements and whether it made this fine airbrush slightly easier to use. When it comes to attaching it, it's really very simple. is what you get, the handle and the metal component with a nut. So we'll remove the moisture trap, you can always put that on at the bottom, install, we'll install this as per the instructions, that screws on there. As you can see what that does is it effectively lengthens the attachments for the hose and creates a new extended airway. That goes over the top. Nice snug fit. And then we've got the nut goes on the end like that. And that really is it. You can also continue to use the original moisture trap as well. It's a black plastic, very simple construction but very effective. Ah oh yes, that feels much better. It sits much more easily in the hand. You can actually hold it like that as well. Putting your thumb on the spine of the handle and that feels much more comfortable. To see if there's a real improvement over sustained use, we'll spray some primer through this on one of our new model projects. But already it feels a lot better. The experience of using a brush like the TR2 or TH is completely transformed thanks to the custom grip handle. We could spray these models with complete control and little effort and with a much more comfortable grip. It felt like the user experience was completely improved, making the airbrush much more natural to hold and relaxing to use. So there you have it, the very simple custom grip handle to make your TR2 possibly a little more comfortable to operate. 
it certainly sits in the hand a lot better for us. We found it really worked well to spray the base coat over the model. The only drawback we've found is that it doesn't sit in our airbrush holder quite as well, so you probably need a different style of airbrush holder for this type of handle. But other than that, it's a real improvement for this trigger airbrush, and we'll be using it again in future. That's the custom grip handle K200. That's all from the airbrush show. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to Scale War Machines, the home of model making videos, articles, and archive films. Bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.